Okay, quick show and tell here. I just got back from Kelly Paper, which is a chain of stores in Southern California and uh, maybe a couple other uh, states, maybe on the West Coast. There might be one in Arizona, but I'm not sure. But um, they mainly were a company that supplied the um, printing industry, but they, you know, uh, in the last 20 years, you know, there's scrapbookers and whatnot, and uh, they have a lot of papers for things like invitations for people doing wedding invitations and such, but, you know, their bulk of their trade is for the uh, printing industry and, and whatnot, but uh, they have a retail section now with kind of smaller packs of uh, papers that you can go in there and buy. I've always bought reams of uh, things like glossy paper, glossy cardstock, and uh, I buy chipboard to package uh, our stamps with, and I was out of that, so I went in there. But anyways, I'll show you what I bought here, and I found some really great deals. All the Kelly Paper stores have this section, uh, you know, where they're blowing things out. It just, you know, there, you, there's no telling what they'll have at any given time. But I like these personal touch, these folded cards here, and I bought these before, but there were, I don't know, there were three packages in there. Um, for two dollars each. So these are five by seven, 80 pound cover weight, and these are uh, matte papers, but I don't know. Um, they really make it, you know, quick and easy to uh, format, um, you know, my scenes on something like this. I usually throw some kind of matte on it, you know. I usually like doing a double matte um, on my cards, and I just, you know, stick it down to one of these envelopes, pre-folded, really great. Um, there's some purple ones probably in that bin because not a lot of people are using purple, but um, for a scene like this one right here, it would go really well, you know, with a little bit of a mat. I would throw a, I don't know, like a real, like a 1 16th, a uh, little light mat around it with maybe, I don't know, black would look good or something like that as a double mat, but what a great deal, huh, on these ones right here. This I also found in their... Uh, um, uh, I don't know, whatever, discount table, um, and it's a pre-folded card. I, I wasn't quite sure if it was silver or not, but it's slate, so it's kind of a, a matte slate right here, but I'm always, I don't know, it, 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 this kind of neutral kind of uh, background doesn't really capture my attention, but uh, sometimes when I'm formatting a card, um, having something kind of neutral like this is really good, or if I had like a black and white photo, or a monochromatic scene would look really good on something like this, um, having it neutral. I, I usually favored black or something like that in the past, but in one of my college photography classes they had us format everything on just a neutral gray, and I thought, eh, that doesn't look too bad. They thought it would influence the, uh, the photograph as much, but even something like this with a, you know, light blue and uh, maybe white matte or something like that wouldn't look too bad. Um, but yeah, maybe not something like the green, I don't think. All right, but um, I really like these um, kind of iridescent papers. I don't know if you can tell here in this, uh, let me see, let me take it out of the package, but these Aspire Patalix. Kelly Paper sells um, papers by the ream, by the case. They sell master sheets, and they cut things down to, uh, you know, printer specifications. But um, a lot of what they have in store is 8.5 by 11s, you know, the standard formats. Uh, 11 by 14, you know, tabloid size, 11 by 17 and whatnot. But, um, but they also, in the retail section, they started um, packaging up smaller... Um, Packages, you know, just for the general consumer, but um, I really like these because I can buy them in things of 25, so um, it has that kind of iridescent uh, uh, finish to it. I really like that. And these weren't too bad either. I think these were like $7 or something like this. This one's a um, text paper, okay, and that's thinner. Okay, I want to use that for some kind of matting, maybe not for these scenes or something like that, but I like putting a thin mat around um, something like this, but this would look really great with a, uh, 
I don't know, some kind of like a brown, you know, tones in it, or a, maybe a sunset type of scene with that warm um, finish to it. And it has that little iridescence to it, which makes that uh, matte kind of, you know, for me, it's a little extra special type of uh, finish on it. This one's thicker. This is a cover stock, so, um, and again, it's um, the metallic, so kind of that metallic look to it or iridescent look to it. Uh, which I really like. So instead of it just being, kind of, this one's kind of a warmer um, white, I guess you'd say, or pale tan, I don't know, whatever, but um, uh, it's called bear grass, but uh, I thought that would look really good for kind of a warmer um, matting around something, or you, you know, uh, use it for something else. You can use it as the card itself and have a nice iridescent uh, look to it. Again, personal touch, um, really a great price, two ninety eight. So you know, three bucks for twenty five sheets of red. I don't know. Sometimes I like going for something really bold, especially with like a monochromatic or black and white uh, type of scene. You know, um, to uh, kind of really add some kind of punch to the uh, to the uh, uh, scene or whatever I'm stamping out. And again, this one right here was four twenty-five. I don't know. It, maybe the this one right here was uh, sold. You know, they're just trying to blow it out or something like that. So, same type of thing right here. This one's the baby blue eyes. As far as the color, these ones aren't iridescent or anything like that. But um, I don't know. Yeah, same text weight. I guess these ones weren't selling as much, you know, and these ones weren't selling too, so they reduced it down. But normally, I think these were about. Um, Eight dollars. I can't remember the price that it said on the wall, but um, a really great deal, you know. And it, it's probably different per each Kelly paper. So, like I said, you never really know what they're going to have. Uh, this one's a uh, now. This one kind of was strange to me because the cover weight is much thicker than the text weight. But I don't know. Maybe it just has to do with these you know, how they were selling or something like that, and they were just blowing them out, but um, the cover weight of this baby blue eyes color was 386, and here the text was 425. I should try printing something on this sometime, or maybe even stamping some kind of scene onto this uh, type of uh, colored uh, matte cardstock. And let's see, the last thing is this uh, olive oil color, but really great color. Uh, Eh, maybe not. Well, I don't know. That doesn't look too bad. This has some kind of more of a bluish kind of neutral uh, green in it, but um, I don't know. Something like that wouldn't be too bad. I would probably stick to kind of a more of a warmer color scheme. I just did this one right here. Probably throw some kind of white around it or something like that. Or maybe even that bare grass would look good. Um, something like this. You know, would be a really great uh, double mat, like something like that, and then you throw that on um, with a little bit of a larger border, something like that. It's not ideal, you know. I'd probably match something like that, but it is green and it is a warm green. But this is what I kind of buy this paper for, you know. When I do my card formatting, I like to throw a mat around my. Uh, scenes, which I don't get around to very often, uh, but sometimes it's, I don't know, I have, I have a matting day or something like that, or a card formatting day from the scenes that I've stamped out, but um, I like to have all these different types of papers, and uh, I don't know, I like to keep it cheap because, you know, on something like this, you know, if I just have this kind of little tiny thin, you know, matting around it, you know, it's barely visible, you know. So I like to keep my, uh, you know, these, these papers really uh, inexpensive for these purposes, but I do think it adds a bit of a, kind of an elegant touch, you know, of course, to format your uh, cards with matting and whatnot, and you know, you're all uh, paper crafters, so you know what I'm talking about, but um, we all love papers, and uh, of course we all love really good deal so if you're in the uh, Southern California area or if you're out here visiting at some time I'd recommend taking a look at uh, looking up Kelly paper they also sell things online they're not gonna have these kind of blowout packages you know you know these sale packages online um, 
But take a look there. In uh, most of the larger cities are, you know, within a uh, range of uh, them, and there's usually numerous ones. Uh, like in the San Diego area, there's two of them. But uh, like in the LA area, you might find might find one every 25 miles or something like that. So. Anyways, looking forward to formatting some cards. I don't know if I'll work a card around this scene or something like that. I usually just kind of do a bunch of scenes and I just look to see what, you know, might look best in my uh, stock of papers. But it was time to buy some more because I did some, uh, a lot of formatting, uh, I don't know what it was, maybe a year ago or something like that. So one of the colors that I really wanted to get was um, gold. Um, I love gold. Uh, you know, and silvers, you know, for around uh, scenes um, for that extra, extra punch of, uh, I don't know, a little splash of color around it. But uh, uh, I didn't feel like spending, uh, you know, $20 on 20 sheets, especially for my purposes. So hopefully something like that goes on sale, but it's probably not one of those things that sells really slow for them. So I don't know if the type of thing I'll find it in the discount bin at any given time. And I don't get into Kelly paper real often. So um, I don't know. Uh, I'm not in there checking out their... Uh, discount tables too often, but uh, I don't know, maybe I should, because there's some really great bargains in there. So anyways, latest mini haul of papers, and uh, I don't know, check them out if you have a chance. I'll put some uh, photos of their store uh, sometime up on my uh, Facebook page and whatnot, uh, or on their Yelp page sometime too, so you can kind of see what it looks like on the inside. Very industrial looking.